That is I love you from now until whenever. It's 12.25 on Saturday morning on the last Blue Paris Soul Show. Might as well play much more solid gold for you. These are the spinners, and it's a shame. This is WHEC, Radio 14 for Rochester, New York. Why not play more music for the nitty gritty city? Aretha did that in 1970 and son of a preacher man, the old Dusty Springfield thing. We're about ready to uh, close out the last Blue Paris Soul Show, anyway, of, uh, of forever, I imagine, here on WHEC. But as a matter of fact, I, like I said earlier, I'm, I've got the privilege or the uh, uh, misfortune, as the case may be, of being the last person to actually speak on WHEC radio. And uh, I guess, as everybody else has been saying all day, for me these last two years, or it will have been two years in about another week and a half or so. And, uh, thank you, all of you who listen to the Lou Paris show faithfully, some of you not so faithfully, and all the comments I've had, pro and con, and uh, some good people I've met here in Rochester. And I'm still going to be around. I'm not going anywhere, you know. And uh, beginning tomorrow morning, we're going to be doing really some dynamite things, and I want you to listen, and, and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll blow your mind, right? It's 25 20- and I can't think of anything more appropriate to go home with this morning than the four tops and still water love. This morning, alone in the upper teens, sunny intervals, continued cold today with a high between 25 and 30. Becoming cloudy with a chance of snow Saturday night with a low temperature between 15 and 20. Sunday's outlook, warmer with a chance of showers or flurries and a high in the low 40s. It's 25 degrees at 1257 in Rochester. <laughs> following is a WHEC radio commentary. Now, here is Howard Hosmer, managing editor of news for WHEC. It is not pleasant to watch a radio station die. It is even less pleasant to be at the deathbed. WHEC radio has been a Rochester institution for many decades. Tonight, it will be no more, and a new name with mostly new people will take its place, and all the yesteryears will fade into oblivion as if they had never been at all. We can't talk about all the great voices that have gone out over this air or how much they have meant to the community, but many of them were great and they meant much. Who can discount the continuously compelling performances of people like Al Siegel and Gunnar Wigg, the young Warren Doremus and Eddie Meath, Ken French, Harry Lebrun, and all the many others. We can't talk about the gigantic contribution to community service and enlightenment made by this institution over its many decades. It would fill a book but no station ever gave more or served its community better. This has been a voice. No one worthy has ever been denied access to it, use of it, to say what he had to say, and some great people and small people have used it. WHEC has been a friend of the shut-in, a companion of the motorist, a voice for the housewife to keep her company. It has informed, enlightened, entertained, and on occasions delighted. It has even given vent to editorial opinion, and we are happy to have been privileged to be a part of this. This is the last editorial, the last commentary, on the last day of WHEC Radio, Rochester, New York. All of us thank you for your years of friendship and confidence, and for your help and understanding. The preceding has been a WHEC Radio commentary. WHEC Radio concludes broadcast activities for another period. WHEC Radio is owned and operated by WHEC Incorporated and has studios at 191 East Avenue, Rochester 14604, New York. Our transmitter is situated on Witten Road in the town of Brighton. WHEC Radio broadcasts on a frequency of 1460 kilocycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. On behalf of WHEC Radio... This is Jim Fields, wishing you all a very pleasant good night and good morning. WAXC, Rochester. We love your love to Spain.